I would say I started photography full time back in 2015. That's when I really started taking on clients and I had my first wedding then. Um, but how I even like just started thinking that this is something for myself um, was I went to school for actually interior design. Long story short, took it from my child photographing her, like the monthly pictures, and then started shooting weddings. So. Question. Practice, practice, practice. Honestly, you could just be practicing with an iPhone because you need to be able to learn how to create that content, that vision, that, um, even like a mood that you're trying to translate. And I say mood because there's bright and airy, there's the dark and eclectic, and there's the fun spirited. So I think once you kind of figure out like what you enjoy photographing, then you'll start learning what your passion is that will keep driving you further and further and further. But I also want to say don't limit yourself because then you're going to start putting yourself inside this box and when you put yourself yourself inside a box, especially as an artist, you're confining your talents and your potential when really we just want to see your potential grow. And who doesn't want that? Don't be afraid to fail. Failure, like I said, it's part of it. Because if you don't fail, you're not seeing the things that you can improve on. If we were all perfect, then there would be no excitement in something. And sometimes the failure from a shoot or a picture or anything like that can sometimes be like the best. Um, Hybrid's actually going to be a pretty big one. I think a lot of um, clients out there are seeking that timeless feel, which you can get with digital, but there's something about a physical piece of art and then transforming it into your home. So I think hybrid photography is going to be a big thing. And then also with technology, I think we've already seen with like social media it's just like it's everywhere you cannot go somewhere without seeing someone say hashtag this tag me in this follow us on this um so as much as I hate social media like I really don't like it but I love the relationships that you can build with people so I think social media is going to it's it's here to stay and I think we need to learn to adapt to it and find the ways mentally to appreciate what we can do with it. So, I know that's kind of like all over the place, but in the future, I would for sure say to embrace technology, but also keep in the timelessness of the film, which that's how photography came to be. To learn that you're doing a good job. Because if you're doing a good job, you're realizing that you're failing, and in failing, you're succeeding. So I think once you can kind of get over that hurdle of comparing yourself and just thinking that you're not good enough, just getting over those doubts and those insecurities, I think that's how you'll get to that triumph and just start seeing your work for your work. So, and I think... That's everything. Sophie's an amazing photographer. She's so super, super talented. She's super smart with what she does. Um, so give her an A+. Bye, guys.